What it is, y'all, it's your old boy Pilk, and we need to talk once again about the lower floors of Abyss Abyssal Exploration because a lot of things have come to light in this that really only in the last 24 hours that maybe we didn't fully understand uh, in the prior run. So what I'm done here is I've slightly modified my team. I've got some better equips on Bell. I've got some all magic on Haruhime. Like, everything is there to max her magic out. And I know a lot of people can be mad I'm running the Red Hestia. Literally, Red Hestia has the maximum amount of magic for any unit that I've been able to upgrade on my team. So, really, it's crazy, but Hestia is just a better unit. Remember, we're not using Haruhime as a DPS. Now, the SR Bell is a weird unit here. We were using him before as a backup DPS, but as you swap units out, you do lose a little bit of your buffing power. So really having a second DPS almost comes at a, a, at a uh, deficit. However, the closer you are to the 100 cost, the better off you're going to be as far as... Um, Based as far as difficulty goes. Because if I take him off, we're going to get a, an announcement that says, hey, units are going to be, or any of your mobs are going to be harder just because you're going at this with a lower power level. It's like, hey, you think you're hot, we'll show you, essentially. So, we're running the SR Bell, but we're not going to use him. He's literally just there to fill a space because I've got max magic on Haruhime and I've got max power on Bell. Now, Bell is running an interesting item here. Uh, he is running an item that's going to give him shield. Uh, I would love to have all three slots unlocked for him. Unfortunately, I do not. I don't quite have the items to do that. I will be correcting that soon, but at the moment, I don't. So we're going to make do with this. But if you were at the live stream last night, you already know that this is more than enough to, uh, uh, to take on this event. We just have to be a little bit smarter with our run than we were last time. All right, so... To kick this off, we're going to run into this room, and we are just going to start spamming Bell's skill one. Well, I take that back, because we can't quite spam it to the extent we want to. A uh, little spoiler for what's going to happen later, but yeah. We are going to make skill one basically our main DPS move. Alright, so now that I've got those guys out there pretty slow, I'm going to spawn the golden guys. And just kind of let everyone, you know, walk into my blade more or less. That's kind of how this winds up working. Everyone just kind of comes at you. Did we get a rare drop already? Nice. All right. Now, this is the part I hate, but we got to go to room two. If you're following along on the map, you know this next room is room two, and I hate this room because it does have an iron armored. Now, while we didn't necessarily need Haruhime's uh, second heal there, every time she heals, she gets closer to an essay, and we want her essay. So we're going to utilize that. There's a trick to this iron armor, though, that I've learned. And that trick is get your SA built up as quickly as you can by taking out the lower level mobs. Um, the more of those guys you take out, the more damage you do, the closer you get to doing an SA, and the easier this becomes. All right, so he's going to spawn a bunch of dudes. Let's take those guys out. All right, we have Bell's SA, and we have Haruhime's skill. Uh, so let's go ahead and pop Haruhime's skill here. Bam, and I'm going to go ahead and do both of her heals just because of reasons. Get closer to doing her SA, and then we'll pop Bell's SA right here. Now all the low-level mobs should land in here. Uh, even our Iron Armored should, like, basically play around in the fire. And now he's in Phase 2. Now when he's in Phase 2, he will do this buff skill, and then you can pretty easily wipe him out. Because that buff skill, uh, once he starts doing it, essentially, he just... Oh, is he gone already? Oh, wow. It was a lot faster than I thought. So remember... Drop Bell's SA on him, get that buff skill off. It helps you out immensely. Or get him to do the buff skill, because once he goes into phase two, he does that buff skill. So, that will help you out immensely. Now, we are going into a 30 second challenge, uh, and I am going to save my eyes just for this, because she essentially can wipe these guys out, but uh, she didn't for some reason. This 30 second challenge is kind of annoying. But do the best you can. If I had uh, Bell's essay here, I would drop it. But I'll be honest with you, I, in my experience, it doesn't do that much. Because they kind of spawn all over the room. Alright, he's, he's gone. He's left. Alright, cool. Alright. Now, I have Bell's essay and Haruhime's essay. 
Let's go ahead and uh, actually, no, I don't even need our hemaceal. We'll hold on to that. So these two, these next two rooms are really easy, and I'm basically to save both those essays, both Bell and Eyes's, for the uh, for room six. So rooms four and five are just gonna kind of get, you know, treated like rooms. And yes, the reality is I probably could regain Haruhime buff with how easy these next two rooms are. I ain't even worried about it. Let's go ahead and heal and go to town. And the the few the less times you have to heal, the actually the better off you are. So I actually probably shouldn't have healed right there. It just it kind of is what it is. Because you do get stronger as you go through here. And every time you swap out, you kind of reset that a little bit. So in reality, maybe I maybe I'm healing too much. But at least in this floor, like it's it's just been the way to go. Hey! I said get in the fire. Alright, cool. So, now we're moving on to room 6. And room 6 can be a nuisance. So, I'm going to go ahead and pop Haruhime's uh, skill 1. I know we did just say we nerf ourselves a little bit doing that. But, I think this room kind of deserves it. So, one thing I do is I always go up here first thing in the corner. And spawn the golden orcs. And then run in the middle and just... Look at that rare drop. See, and then most of your mobs just kind of become a joke. And really, oop, that I could save eyes. I could save eyes for the next 30 second challenge. Alright, I like this guy. He's easy enough. Uh he looks like a big threat, and if he hits you, he hits hard, but honestly, he's not really a credible threat, if I'm totally honest, guys. Okay, now, the Room 7 and Room 8 are interesting, but they're really, once again, another one of those that's not, like, a huge deal. Um, but you do want to go with these in, in order. Uh, I didn't think I was losing anything by going out of order, but believe it or not, there are some stuff, some things later on. That you kind of need to make sure you do this in order for. So, be careful here. Because if you run too far up there, you run into room 12. Room 8 is right here. So, you want to stay close to that wall. If you go too far north, you see where that purple line is right there. If you go up there, you lose some of your later fights. And some of your later drops. So, do not do that. Stay right here and then go down here into room 9. Now, this is a 30 second challenge. So I'm going to go ahead and drop Haruhime's buff skill. I'm going to go ahead and heal a bit. And I'm going to drop this right there. Yeah. Oh, man. That didn't do nearly what I was hoping it would do. All right. So the one thing I do want to do here is I want to beat these guys pretty quick. Because there is a uh, second row of golden orcs and I really want to take them out so we don't want to waste too much ah that probably cooked me man yeah I don't think I'm gonna get the second row of golden orcs I did yes oh yes I didn't get the orc king but I got the golden orcs so I think I, I hope hope that does the thing so we didn't take a huge amount of damage that's good I'm gonna save eyes's skill for this room <laughs> Honestly, I probably should have used her last turn, but whatever. Per usual, we get a lot of guys spawning in, and there's golden orcs. So I will go ahead and spawn everything I can right here in the center, and then just let them let them get taken out. Now, I have definitely spoken my piece about how much I despise the ant here, and nothing has changed. He It is too close to quarters for the threat that is a stupid ant. But the good news is when he starts doing those types of things, you can kind of move over to the side and let him just, you know, build himself up. Uh, he will take continuous damage from fire, so, you know, keep him on fire. Ooh, here we go. Now that's perfect. Once he starts doing those buff skills, you can kind of take advantage of that situation. 
And notice that he he just lays down in short order there. All right. Now, one thing I did we did learn about the Abyssal Exploration, you want to check every nook and cranny. Oftentimes, things like this and little rock formations like that can spawn extra units. Now, we figured out most of these, but there's one that's not on the map I'll show you guys later on. But for now, we're actually going to go to that room. So that was room 10. We're moving on to room 11. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and heal up. This room uh, spawns two king orcs, and I need to make sure that I am he heavy hitting enough to contend. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to run right between the two of them, and then just do this. And it should make sense as to why. Now, don't waste uh, your time there. When they start buffing that up, do attack them with your skill too, because as you see... It wastes them both. Like, line them both up, use your skill too, and wipe them out. It, quick, fast, and in a hurry. It, it really does an amazing job. Now, I've got some buffs, and I can move on to room 12. Now, remember I said, this is room 8. Over there is room 7. Just right here is room 12. I know it's kind of silly, but it's an open floor plan in the dungeon, I guess. Oh, gentlemen, you weren't supposed to actually harm me. Hey! You're not listening. I said you're not supposed to harm Ooh, there's the golden orc. I forgot about the golden orcs in that corner. I often do. You want to come over here and spawn them? Because that's a free rare drop. Do not forget to do that. Because I often do. But right here in this corner, there's a golden, uh, golden orc drop. You want to do that. Now, up here is room 15. Oh. But right here is room 13. Actually, I thought we had to go a little further over to get room 13. But this is technically room 13. And just wipe these guys out. Now, if this is room 13 and up there is room 15, where's room 14? Well, room 14 is over here. And it's not a 30-second challenge. I often think I, I often kind of treat it like that. But it, it technically isn't. And I'm actually not going to do the heal before I go in here. Which might be a mistake, but I have the heal on deck if I need it. Now, notice I just got a buff there. Basically, what that buff does, anytime I wipe out four units, I will now have skill one. Which means you could essentially, if you have two kind of helpings of skill one, you will essentially just be able to spam skill one nearly indefinitely. It is crazy. Now, you do want to line it up a little better than I have been, but, you know, it is what it is. There we go. And he's done. Now, I will say, if you're not getting the iron armors in this room, you've missed something. So you may want to restart if you're really looking to complete the, the, uh, the, the lower floors. Those iron armors really only drop when you've kind of completed everything. So, you know, be mindful of that. Very demure. All right. And that rare drop. Bam. Room 14 is done. Now we're moving on to room 15. And I will need to heal for this one because this one is a king orc. And this one gets hairy, but since we've we've swapped over, we'll use Haruhime's buff skill. And we'll go back into the other bell. Not that bell. Three, two, one. Yes, thank you. Woo! That was almost a mistake. Bam! It's the downside of running that extra bell. Okay. All right, don't be too afraid of that. Just use this, this skill too. Just like anything else, once they start buffing, just use Bell's skill too, and you, you've got it. Now, all this does kind of hinge on the fact that, you know, I'm assuming pretty much... Oh, something I learned here. Eyes' skill will stop that attack. So if that attack is a is a problem for you, which it has been for me, use Eyes' skill there. It's great. Downside is you don't have it for the next uh, the next fight, but whatever and another rare drop 
And I don't believe there's anything here, but I'm just going to double check. Now, I know you're looking at the map going, well, it's room 15, you're done. No, not yet. Not yet. We've got one more room. And strangely enough, we're going to do that room twice, but follow along. So, I don't have our Hime's buff skill, unfortunately. Uh, we are going to spawn an Iron Armored here, so we do want to be careful. But I'm going to kind of build up to the point at which... Oops. All right, there we go. Now I've got my skill one. Skill one should take out most of these guys. Do note they do have shields, so they, they can be annoying. That skill you cannot interrupt, but just damage him as much as you can and basically build up to an SA. Ooh, Eyes is back. Back again. That was a good hit from Eyes. There we go. Ooh, I actually hit him with that. I didn't think I was going to. Get him burned and just be a nuisance. He's a nuisance to us. It's okay to be a nuisance back. I missed him that time. I was just a little too far. Okay. This is what I want. Nice. Bro, back in the fire. Alright, once he gets into phase two... There we go. Now he's in phase two. And this is where he becomes kind of a chump. So, work yourself up into that phase two. And I know you're looking at Haruhime's buff going, but you have Haru's buff. I do. I am, however, going to save uh, Haruhime, or, uh, Bell's skill two until he starts uh, charging again. Ow. There we go. Boom, 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 and he is down. Okay. What if I told you no? Got him. Okay. So, we did that. And we're pretty good to go. Now, here's the deal, guys. There is one more phase in this room that a lot of people don't know about. We kind of discovered it last night on stream. Uh, I am going to go ahead and go down here with Bell. Circle around. Now, for whatever reason, it's not dropping. Well, I missed something along the way. And I don't know why or what. <laughs> Maybe I had to beat the Iron Armored... Maybe, I don't know, what's going on? Because if you go down into that corner, it should... So I'm going to run around the room here just to be on the safe side. If you go down to that corner, it should spawn... It should spawn a dragon. And for whatever reason, it's not now. And I don't know what I missed. So now I'm going to have to go room by room and double check. So I did this room. I don't know what I missed. I'll be honest, guys. And Bell's pointing back here. So maybe there's something in this room? Did I not run down there? No? We missed something along the way. And I don't know what we missed. Didn't miss that. I know we got them. I'll be real, guys. I thought we I thought we did everything we needed to do to trigger them. Maybe it was the other giant orc in that, that 30 second challenge. That might be the difference. I'll be honest. But uh, if you do everything just right, if you follow the rooms properly, go into room 11 again, do everything by the book. Beat all those 30 second challenges. Get all the golden orcs out of the 30 second challenges. Admittedly, the 30 second challenges, I believe, are all 
um, indefinite spawns. But when you see golden orcs and things like that, those are definitely, definitely, definitely uh, special mobs that you want to defeat. But for whatever reason, the baby dragon is not spawning. And I don't know why. Let's try this one more time. We've run around the rest of the dungeon. There's Oh, there he goes. There he goes. All right, perfect. Maybe I had to leave the room. I don't know. But let's go ahead and do a Harahime's buff. This is excellent. Oh, I was really afraid he wasn't going to spawn. So maybe there was like some chasm I missed or something. All right, and then we can drop his SA here. Bam. <sighs> Do be careful, because he will fill the room with lava. So, you know, that will most likely go poorly for you if you don't beat him early. When he starts buffing, get rid of that buff. But uh, I don't know. I missed a corner somewhere. I really did miss a corner somewhere. Maybe I had to leave the room, come back in. I'm not 100% certain. Last night when we were doing it on stream, literally after you beat the Iron Armored, all you had to do was go down here into this corner and it spawned. So maybe I just didn't trigger something in the in the uh, in the dungeon earlier. But we've crawled the entire dungeon at this point, uh, and I've we've redone it on stream multiple times. So I'm pretty confident we found everything. But the key is when you have uh, abyssal when abyssal comes back. Make sure every little nook and cranny like this is explored because you will miss things. A lot of people have missed that that dragon. I didn't even know it was a thing. We literally, some people were talking about there being extra drops and things like that. So we literally just explored this corner last night and it happened. So there you guys go. Lower floors in depth. I know the event's getting ready to go away, but we literally just discovered this and it gives us things now to look forward to and to discover next time this comes around. So make sure you guys like, comment, and share. I have rooms two and three coming up later today, though because of the schedule, they probably will not get pushed out. So once again, guys, subscribe if you haven't, or join the Discord both, really both, please, uh, so that you can stay up to date with that. But for now, guys, I'll catch you on floor, the mid-floors. Floor two. Or not even the mid-floors. Floor two. Floor two.